I don't know. I'm really grateful for Kanye. Well, he just he makes me feel good about myself. I, I, you know, I love the guy. I don't like his music much, but I like I like Gold Digger. And I like American Boy with Estelle. But that's over a decade old now. But like, let me tell you, I am Kanye. I <laughs> I would be probably making those same choices. Hopefully not the, the, the hateful ones. <laughs> If I had all that money and, and fame. So it's like, looking at Kanye is like, that's me. If I was successful, I would be, I'd be still me. Just fucking being stupid. <laughs> I'm not saying he's dumb or anything. No, he's, he's pretty bright, but you know what I mean by stupid. Like, like a... <laughs> Hey there, good morning. How are you? Welcome. It's uh, 5, 50, 4, 57 a.m. It is Wednesday. Wednesday, November 30th. The last day of November uh, 2022. It's 41 degrees Fahrenheit. There are still no lights on the fridge. <sighs> We're going to talk to the management about that. Put on my Karen wig. <laughs> Get my arms akimbo. Take some flight. I like to start off my day with a gratitude list. And uh, I started off with the foundation six. And uh, I call it the foundation six because you need to build a foundation before you build a, a structure or a dwelling. The foundation is there to uh, you know, help, you su help support the weight of that existence. And my foundation six are my family, my friends, my faith, my freedom, my health, and my union job. And then from there, I, I elaborate. I don't really plan the, the list. I, it, it's laissez-faire, I go with it. You know, I, I'm just, it, it flows for me naturally. It, 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 uh, it's like the force, it is the force. The Star Wars force, you know, we're not, and, uh, Oh, it's just a nice clear morning. Well, it's actually cloudy to be sure, but it's dry. It's not raining. Um, I'm walking to the station. Here, let's see if this is the, see the bus here. Let's see. That's bus number 2015. We'll see if this bus comes right back. You know, we're collecting data and evidence. Really. But yeah, like I, I like I say, I'm grateful sometimes. Okay, well, let me get back to the point about gratitude. Ah, I'm grateful for who I am and where I am to this extent. Sure, things could be better, but things could be a hell of a lot worse. Um, but I look at someone like Kanye West, man, and I find him adorable, man. I find him lovable. What do you like? That would be me. Like, always opening my mouth and getting in trouble for the things I feel and the things I say. And I'm not. I'm not supporting anything he said recently. Trust me. <laughs> I'm not. It's not. That's not about that. It's about. It's about just being authentic, being genuine, and geez, they're always kind of saying the wrong thing and always kind of doing the wrong thing and always always feeling like you're in trouble and the, and the anxiety that it brings and the the mayhem that it brings your life and the relationships it destroys and it's like but you know what i mean i, I feel like kanye is me like i would be if i was famous and rich i would be fucking up left and right i think sometimes i'm like thank goodness i'm not or you know maybe i will be rich one day Huh? And God was just protecting me from the downfalls of, of early stardom, <laughs> you know. And uh, if I had all that money and all that fame, that I would just fucking ruin it, man, or myself. I'd probably become a druggie or an alcoholic. Uh, I have those tendencies, you know, and I've put them to the side. I, I mean, jeez. Oh, that poor dude. <laughs> Maybe she should just take the rest of that money 
that you have, which is probably considerable. It's just, you'll buy a farm and, you know, and then outside of Chicago, where you're from, and try, when you have your kids, just like teach them how to plant and <laughs> I don't know. But, but when I look at like comic book artists, I'm a huge comic book fan and I'm connected to like the what's going on in comic books and shit. And seeing comics books creators and getting, you know, using their platform and abusing their platform. And, uh, and then I see like all these people getting in trouble, you know, at, uh, especially men. Um, ladies don't get into trouble. They're, they're, <laughs> they're blameless. <laughs> but uh, at, at comic book conventions, the whole culture of comic book creators that go out after the cons and drink. They call it bar con. And that's where the real con takes place. And that's where you really make social media uh, happen. And that's where you have drinks with each other afterward. And then sometimes, because these are younger people, sometimes things get a little cozy, things get some frisky, and then comes, you know, it, 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 then comes like, you know, what is abuse of power? Then what comes what is abuse of consent or breach of consent or like all this dirty laundry stuff. And all I can think is like, damn, I fucking, I would be hitting on women like fucking left and right and shit. I would be, <laughs> I would, I'd be one of those canceled motherfuckers. Like, oh, he tried to, he tried to have his way with me. I thought you were into it. I was buying you drinks all night. We were chatting. I, this is called D. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not making excuses for anyone's bad behavior. I'm just possessed with a bizarre sense of empathy. <laughs> having empathy for Con for Kanye and having empathy for like these poor canceled schmucks that <laughs> get a little too drunk after a con and think that this girl is actually into you and maybe you tried something, maybe you didn't. Who knows? I mean, but it's all dirty laundry. It really is, man. Is that all the internet is anymore? A laundromat? I don't know. You tell me. Let me know what you're grateful for. And I will see you later. God bless. Now I must say good luck. Like and subscribe. I would love to earn your subscription. Cheers. See you later.